Hey hello everybody, my name is Kat and welcome back for another video of Star Wars The Old Republic. We're going to continue this series, boys, like always, having a lot of fun playing this game for you guys, obviously. Uh, we got our daily rewards, we got a claim, uh, some droid parts were basically garbage stuff, but we're going to take it nonetheless, why not, right? The game is giving it to us, might as, might as well take the, the free stuff. So uh, we got to meet with Lana, basically that's where we last left off, we created some sort of... Not a, uh, not a coup, but we created some sort of uh, mini uh, mini dialogue thing where uh, the, basically the, the king that uh, we are trying to... We're trying to basically uh, control a king right now by making him think that he was attacked and stuff like that. Ah, good old Commander. regular I stuff, I guess. Going to the diplomatic side and stuff Charles. of Since actually trying to shoot our way through, yeah. which I prefer shooting my yeah. way through, but Lana says otherwise. Better than they treated us, clearly. We really need this. It has been a while since we've seen these two, though. Uh, let's catch up. I want someone else. Uh, that's just that's a garbage thing to say, but I guess I could say that. I don't know, boys. You know Underon? I, I'm just gonna say you know Underon. Do you know your way around this planet? Have you forgotten my many tales of our service to the late Queen Lena? If only her son had inherited her wit or grace or looks. <laughs> All right then, conquer them all, leave huh? You in their capable hands, Commander. Good luck. Ah, hands. All right, so it looks like we're working with the Wookiee again, boys. Uh, once again, we, we haven't seen them since the whole Revan thing, so it's gonna be intriguing to, to see what happened to like them in the meanwhile. Exactly the right A lot of happened right to us, though. Had to fight the uh, uh, the uh, the emperor himself and everything. A lot of thing happens. All right, let's go in, boys. What do we have here? So collect the blaster replica. The game's lagging a lot, boys. Once again, having a tough time. I don't know if it's this planet or not. I, it seems like it's this planet. I I don't know. It's gotta be the graphics or something, boys. Maybe my graphics are a little bit too high. I don't know. I've got such an old PC, so you can't, it just can't handle uh, too much internet at the same time or too much stuff at the same time. I don't know why, boys. But uh, let, let, let's just go in. Do I think, do I have to fast travel? I don't think so, no. It's right beside us. Uh, so let's just do our thing, I guess. Where are we going to collect these things? It's lagging so much, it's unbearable right now, boys. Holy shit. Probably going to have to uh, get rid of the, or lower the settings a little bit here. If it continues like that. Oh, there it is. So we got the, the things we need. Okay, if you say so, droid. Uh, what do we, uh, what do we go at? We, uh, we go all the way there. This theme, uh, seems like that type of map that would be in Battlefront or something for battles. It seems like that type of, like, first-person shooter type of map right there. It's, it's a cool little map. I like it, boys. Doesn't really fit like uh, the type of game we're playing, but it's a, it's a cool one nonetheless. Where are we going? Collect the counterfeit ID chest. Yeah, how are we gonna do that? Diplomacy? I don't have any skills, or do I have an available skill right now? What the hell? I thought I had some skills. Hold on. Uh, what's the what's the thing for the skills again? Mission log, crew skills is B. I have a skill. I guess I didn't have a second one though. Uh, diplomacy would be great. Yeah, I think diplomacy is already too far away. Oh, there we go. Train on that one, boys. Uh, diplomacy is always the best option right here. Uh, what do we do here? I have absolutely no idea. Treasure hunting, maybe? Do we have to talk to one of these? I actually don't know if we have to talk to one of these, boys. If, if I press B again. Oh, can I have multiple? Hold on. I might be, uh, be able to have multiple. Investigation, treasure hunting. Underworld trading. Um, I'm actually gonna do investigation. Train. Can I have m even more? I think I can have more than that, but I, I might be able to have uh, all of them. Underworld? No, okay, so I can only have three at the same time. Okay, so why are we here for though? ID chest. Is there a way for me to do my thing right here? There's gotta be something we can interact with, boys. I'm just not seeing right now. Hold on. Oh, there it is, right there, boys. It's there's crates right in the back, right, uh, right there. Didn't see them for some reason. Uh, what do we have here? I see it already. I already saw it. This time around, they can't hide from me. This looks like it's just a bunch of stuff. It's fetch a, it's a fetch quest, basically. We just gotta get whatever uh, uh, we need. 
along the road. Are we getting out of the city? Maybe that's going to help us out I'm with the graphics because the, uh, the game's lagging so much for uh, me right now. It's kind of unbearable. Don't worry about it, King. I'll, I'll deal with them in, d d in due time. Just let me do my thing first. I gotta go all the way around. I gotta take these goddamn stairs. Ah, oh, God damn it! I'm stuck here. Okay, good. I gotta tell you, it's not easy to play when I'm recording, man. Playing with my wrong hand right here. Playing opposite, basically playing inverted with my goddamn... Uh, with my keyboard. It's not good, boys. There's a, go uh, there's a goddamn monster right here. Holy sh! What just happened, man? I can't jump in here. There we go. Finally, I was able to jump, boys. It's a weird ass road right now. It's rocky areas. We I like this planet a lot, though. If you know the 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 feel of it when uh, you're actually like trying to travel towards it, it's kind of um, it's it's really weird, boys. It's weird to control and everything. This you gotta get past all the rocky uh rocky places and stuff like that. But that's a I'm not even gonna try to name that. That is not a good name. I'm going to get demonetized if I say that name, boys. It's on the map, boys. You see it, boys. There's not much I can do about that. Uh, travel to proving, uh, proving grounds. I got to uh, take care of these stalkers really quick, though. They, uh, they were right in my path. Docking my path right here. Might be tempted to just actually use, like, my heroics and stuff. But I don't know if I need to. I mean, I just can't kill them off without my heroics i don't know boys i'm always tempted to use my heroics just to make it a bit faster i just don't know if we're gonna have to fight a boss fight or some sort that's why i'm i'm kind of on the fence of always using them because i want to save them for the best time outcrop okay so what are we doing we're just I guess spying or collecting a bunch of evidence, uh, different evidence and stuff. Are we going to have to kill uh, kill all of these different animals? It seems like it, boys. I don't really remember doing these missions, though. It might be because they're brand new or they're in the newest editions and stuff like that. That's why I don't remember them. But I don't know. Maybe it's because I've never actually done that on the Imperial side. And it's a completely different uh, world that we are in or something like that i don't know boys i just just feel it feels like i've never went to the planet even though i'm pretty sure i did like it's an it's an interesting feel for sure feels like it's the first time for me playing uh this sort of arc and stuff like that where's the things that i need so plant a data pad and plant the id crest and why am i where am i going to do that like where am i doing that exactly so the data, th that's the data pad right here. We're going to plant it where exactly? So not, is there a special place I'm supposed to plant it at? Okay, so I got to connect. I got, I like, I got to interact with basically all the plants that are here. I had, I was supposed to interact with the plants, which it was glowing some sort, but I thought it was just part of the plant, the plants itself, like natural colors or like look and stuff like that so I, I didn't think i was supposed to actually interact with it i thought it was naturally blue like that apparently not boys it was just them telling me to actually interact with them sometimes i'm just that stupid i don't even notice these things like look at that plant the color was pretty similar I scan for uh, some uplink boys okay so where are we gonna find this move out of my way are we gonna find uh, any uplinks right here what are we supposed to find okay me jump out of there apparently we're supposed to find some uh, uh something or scan for something uh, i don't know where we're gonna scan for that is there a particular area oh, oh i see it boys i see it's uh right there so we gotta go in that direction right here hold on we're right almost there oh there it is that's where we're supposed to scan and everything let's uh yeah let's go ahead and scan now we should be able to find something uh there it is i see it right there boys is that better there it is there's some sort of antenna we were supposed to scan hold on get my hands on it all right here we go boys my, i managed to get it it hurts my head so much for some reason i don't know why but 
it's like focusing right for focusing your arm big time like super being super precise uh on a, a thing and stuff so it, it hurts my arm a lot so i had to uh focus a lot and take my time with it uh what is this so attacking this okay so we're taking out the uh the uplink now but now this is like a, a really regular mission right here not a not a really a lot of fighting it's just about aside from fighting a bunch of beasts and stuff uh, not a lot of stuff happening. Uh, well, I talked too soon. Bunch of royal guards out of nowhere appearing uh, in our faces here. Let's just take them out really quick, I guess. They'll uh, deal with them uh, in no time. It's not going to be any trouble to us at all. Uh, unless... Oh, no. Okay, I think Jakaru is struggling, though. He's got to be careful, my guy. You're actually going to die if you're not careful. Let me help you out really quick. Okay, you know what? I might have to... I'm going to have to use my heroics here. I'm gonna have to use my rooks on him because on on these things because uh, Jakaru is on the the verge of death right here. Not good at all, boys. Yeah, let's let's use my rooks. Why am I getting? There we go. Let's uh, use this one right here, and I think we're good. We're good to go. Okay, good. Uh, what now? What do we uh, what do we do? Get a security from the guards. So I gotta kill. Well, I, I, I thought I, I had the... Um, I, I killed a bunch of them, but I didn't get a single security guard uh, card for some reason. That's super weird. Let me choke that droid. Are we going to get a security card or something? Nope. Not at all. None of them, boys, is going to give us a security card. I got an option right here. I can just fly in there. There we go. I can just fly in there. Maybe one of them is going to be able to give me something. Uh, let's go. Let's defeat these things. Uh, maybe this royal guard right here will be able to give me what I want. Uppercut him. He's going to give me something? Nothing at all. Really? Is there any other uh, royal guards that are, are going to spawn or anything? Guess I got to continue to go up. Maybe one of them is going to eventually give me what I want right here, right? There's got to be one of them that gives me what I want. I mean, obviously right now. I've killed a bunch of them already and none of them has spawned uh, anything for me. Not good, boys. Let's go. Kill them off, kill them off, kill them off. Kill that goddamn turret, boys. All right, there he goes. Anything for me uh, either? Nope, not yet. Not yet at all. Let's just go right here. Uh, use our heroics right here just to deal with that as quick as possible. And uh, there goes that turret right here. We gotta deal with that turret again uh, as well. Anything else? I mean, there's a Royal Guard Lieutenant, so maybe that's the guy we're supposed to deal with right here. Maybe, boys, you never know. I'm going to try and kill everyone as much as possible. We're just supposed to kill, like, a guard in particular, so it might be him. We've got uh, some people waiting for uh, for us right here. Are we going to have, a, like, a mini-boss fight? Not one step closer. Identify yourself. I don't need to identify myself. Uh, Liam, I'm here to help. I'm not here to talk. Surrender. Let's just go ahead and say surrender. I'm not here to harm you, but I will if you don't surrender now. Surrender? Absurd. Our cousin is the king of Onderon. All of it. Dispatch this vagrant. Just stay behind me. For Onderon! This is how it's gonna be. Is this how it's gonna be? Fine by me. All right, fine. that's really fine by me. I think we're supposed to kill these these two, or maybe just get rid of them all together. You know, uh, making sure that it looks like the the king's cousins are basically uh, being attacked or got killed or kidnapped or something, which allows them in uh, in it in this case to help us out even more with the the whole thing, right? He, uh, it determines him to help us out in the in the war efforts and stuff. I feel like that's where we're going with this. Are we gonna be able to kill him off easily? Yeah, I think we are. We're good. Let's just do our AOE as well. It looks like um, Jakaru's got some sort of AOE himself. Seems to be, like very similar to me and stuff. So seems to be working just fine for him. There we go. My lady. All right. So uh, I gotta interact with you guys. Let's see what we're going to do with them. I don't know if I'm going to kill them or not, though. Our cousin is the king. Yeah, I know that. You don't need to tell me. That's why I'm here. He'll die, too. Well, no, that's why I'm here. I'm just going to say that's why I'm here. I'm sure he'll be very upset about your death. What? 
You, you don't mean... You'll regret this! Savik, Petrov's cousins are dead. Such a tragedy. I'll inform the king they were slain hours ago. Well done. Savik, out. Alrighty then. So our job's complete here. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I wanted to actually kill them or not. But uh, in the, at the end of the day, it feels like it's uh, for what Savik wants to do uh, herself. It feels like that's what was our plan, right? It's for us to kill them in order to uh, make sure that the king believes we are his allies and everything and, every and all this uh, little storyline. So I guess the best option was really to kill them all and... It was gonna save. Uh, it's it's gonna save us some time, I guess. They could have been useful to me, but uh, I don't know, boys. I don't know how much uh, of use they they can be really. I've got uh, m already m many allies. I don't really need that m uh, that many more. So, All right, let's uh, do our thing. I gotta just travel back to the main halls or back at the the royal hall, boys. Let's interact with the king and Lana as well. Or maybe just Star Savic altogether. We'll see uh, what the next plan of a uh, course of option is in that case right here. We did what we uh, were supposed to do. Hopefully our plan works as perfect as he, she uh, tells me all the time she's it's supposed to work. Because if it doesn't work well, if it, I did all of that for nothing, uh, I'm going to be pretty pissed off right here. Commander, good. The king is attempting to rally support for an invasion of the capital. Your efforts were beyond successful. Well, that's My good to know. Plan unfolds precisely as scheduled. The king will rejoin us momentarily, having realized he lacks the military support to reclaim his palace. He will ramble about traitors, demand the blood of his enemies, and remind us yet again that he is king. Then, with the sphinx's prodding, he will realize where to acquire the troops he needs. And where is that exactly? I'm not gonna tell her to ditch him. At this point, we did all of this. We're not gonna just ditch him. Dear King, surely your allies rallied to your call. Some did, and they will receive a king's reward, but far too few. We cannot take the capital with such a small force. I only wish the Empire could provide more aid in these dark times. No one else on this world has the strength to challenge the nobles and their off-world comrades. It seems impossible to believe. Hmm. No. Onderon's strength is not yet lost. There is one group. They've hated the nobles for years. They've tried to undermine all relations with off-world. I always dismiss them as backward and paranoid, but perhaps they were right all along. Uh, about the Republic, that is. They are known as the Untamed. Their leader is the Beast Lord, Akuru. He's a keeper of Andoran's old ways, and he will not join us easily. Please, King Petrov. If we cannot supply the troops you so badly need, at least allow us to win this ally for you. Akuru and his Untamed are proud and stubborn. They have no more love for me than the nobles. I'm not sure how you could secure their allegiance. I'm a good negotiator. Well, they, they'll just join us or they're going to die along with the rest of the public. That's just as simple. I'm not going to say I'm the negotiator. I'm not Obi-Wan at all, boys. I'm uh, definitely more of a shooting type. These untamed can join our fight or die. I'm sure they'll make the right choice. You are a fierce and ally indeed. Your reward shall be great once my throne is reclaimed. I will prepare myself for war. Good fortune to you, friend. All too easy. The Untamed are Onderon's only other major group. Once they're weakened by joining this attack, they will pose no further threat to Imperial operations. There is a proper way to seek an audience with them. An old ritual. They love old rituals. Excellent. And one more thing. I've learned that Akoru's elder brother, Brutard, once trained as a Sith. He died 
fighting Republic forces on Hoth. The rest of the Untamed aren't aware of Bhutan's service. To leave Onderon and serve off-worlders would be abhorrent to them. Perhaps a useful bit of message over a course. My, my patience were thin. How did that happen? Well, I guess I, I'm just gonna thank her for that information. I'll keep that in mind when I speak to him. Thank you. Of course, I must finish preparing my own droids for the assault. It is best if any Imperial identifying components are removed. Good luck. Alrighty, the boys. Let's go contact these old uh, underrun goons. Uh, whoever they are, boys. I got some stuff that I gained right there. Let me just equip that. Uh, I got a bunch of of garbage stuff again. Yeah, a bunch of the stuff that I don't need to use. So I'm not going to use that, boys. I'm just going to sell it back eventually once I get to uh, a marketplace. Uh, leave the hunting lodge. So that's all I got to do. Really? All right, then. And uh, next part, though, is... Uh, okay, so travel to the untamed approach, which is where exactly? Do I need to use a speeder or anything? Uh, I don't think I need to, boys. But uh, I do need to transition, that's for sure, because it might take me a little bit of, uh, of a while before uh, traveling there. So give me a few, few seconds. All right, here goes nothing, boys. We're supposed to go into that cave, so that's where we're probably going to do the whole ritual and try and contact them. Uh, we'll see if we can actually use them in our plot and stuff like that, or we're just going to simply just uh, lure them out to kill them all together. We'll see how, the, uh, how it goes, boys. For now... Uh, there it is. So there's the ritual right here. So we're gonna light some beacons and stuff right uh, like that, I guess. So this is the first signal on the path to the untamed. Let's see, we create lightning. The beacon becomes the trial uh, ceremony and signals the untamed that you seek an audience. Okay, so we gotta light in him if we seek an audience. Destroying the beacon would be regarded as a severe insult. Uh, well, are, aren't we trying to contact them or are we trying to insult them? Nah, fuck it. Why not? Just for uh, for just for the memes, boys. Let's just destroy the beacon. Why not? Let's just destroy the beacon just for the memes. Yeah, we're just gonna uh, beat the, the shit out of them, I guess. There we go. Just beat the shit out of them, thing. We're gonna force them. We're not gonna try and manipulate them, uh... We're gonna do this the old way, old fashioned way, just killing them. Just for the memes, boys, I just wanted to try that, see what happens. I guess it just uh, forces them to pull them uh, themselves out. So I guess uh, we're gonna just do the old fashioned way. Yeah, let's go ahead and use our heroics as well because I don't wanna waste too much time here fighting, especially this guy, he seems like a tough dude. Uh, let me just go ahead and use my, uh, there we go. All my heroics on him. He's a really tough dude. He's he's strong, boys. He's resistant for sure. There we go. We got him. Finally got him. Alright, uh, get this guy right here. We're gonna kill all these uh, these goons right here. Boom! That just like that. Let's go ahead and do uh, my AOE right here. Just to make uh, sure that I kill as many as possible right here. Let me do my force lining on him, on her. Uh, this right here. This guy. Uh, this little untamed. Uh, animal it's gonna go ahead and be defeated we are supposed to get a bunch of stuff so destroy the ceremonial beacons we just gotta destroy all three of them all right i got you i got you we're just gonna destroy all three of them i'm guessing my objective here is was either to recruit them by lighting up the beacon boys or just this uh, destroy them all together by destroying the beacons so just get rid of the group all together you know, I'm just going for destroying the group. I'm going for the old style, boys. There we go. We're destroying this. A uh, bunch of uh, of random dudes are going to come in and try and stop me. Not going to work. Give me a uh, fourth show cue. There we go. Uh, let me actually do my... There we go. My AOE uh, right there. My AOE air, uh, key uh, thing. Let's go. Let's use my, my other e uh, heroic move. So there it is, boys. And there's one last beacon we haven't dealt with just yet. Let's find it out, boys. Let's find out where it is. Don't want to have to fight every single person in here, though. So just want to make this as quick as possible. It seems like it's uh, right there. So let's destroy that last one and uh, kill the few last few remaining people that might come at our, uh, our face right here. There we go. Let's kill them all, boys. Ah, I can't. Damn. 
Right as uh, my heroics just went down as well, so there goes nothing, boys, I guess. Let's get them off. Get them off right here. We're gonna have the shields on us as well to protect us as much as possible. Yeah, this guy, pretty f fearless, these guys, actually. They're, they're kind of uh, pretty good, boys. They would have been a great asset, but I don't need... Uh, it's not like I really need them. I can do everything by my own. Okay, so that's uh, that's dealt with them. Meet uh, with the leader of the Untamed. Okay, so now that I've dealt with this little group, I can meet with the, him, uh, the actual leader. So that's pretty good, boys. Pretty good. Uh, where's the leader at? Just gotta find him real quick, boys. Oh, is he gonna be in that little temple right there? All right, I got you. Uh, we're gonna deal with these animals, I guess. Deal with these guys right here. What? Oh, God damn it. Keep getting blocked, boys. I uh, keep getting um, dodged and stuff like that. That's not good. There we go. Uh, kill them off pretty quick. I'm gonna, just going to use all my special attacks right here. Equip all of this. Just like that. And there we go. And I'm actually going to use uh, that so it gives me a little bit more time and attack to, to plan my stuff up. Okay, there we go. We got him. Can't use my heroics anymore. Hopefully, well, I think we're going to have to fight the leader probably, boys. We're definitely going to have to fight him up now because we obviously killed a bunch of his uh, soldiers and stuff. So my guess is I'm going to probably need to use my heroics. Hopefully, it's going to come back uh, slowly and surely. These guys are not attacking me, though. So maybe we're not going to have to fight him. I don't know. All right, my dude. I'm sure you got my attention now, or uh, I got your attention. And then have the gall to come here? I am a Foru, beast lord of Onderon, and I do not tolerate insults. Speak quickly if you want to live. King Petrif is attacking the capital. You warriors will help him. <laughs> oh, you are a bold one. I'm intrigued. You think insulting our ways will convince me to help a man I hate? The Untamed are the true masters of this world. We know everything that happens here, including Petrif's idiotic squabbles with his nobles. Why help one against the other when I want you all dead? I could blackmail him, boys. You only, your only attentive is death. Well, I could tell him that there's only a other alternative is death, but we have a blackmail, though. Let's use it our advantage. Because I know your brother's secret. I can tell your followers, or you can do what I say. What? What do you believe you know about my brother? He trained to become a Sith. He died serving them off-world. Far from Onderon. Curse you! Ask you to follow everything in your path? Untamed! Hear me! Rally all warriors! The hour of our revolution is at hand! Bring forth Krasilok! He and all of our beasts shall have a half portion! Let them be fueled for the fight, but still hungry for victory! Ha! Crash a lot. But his beast's name. It's actually a pretty clever pun. If you speak ancient Onderonian, at least. <laughs> I'm honestly impressed. Petrif will learn what real strength is. We will show the galaxy the true power of Onderon. Well, I guess either way, it didn't uh, make much of a difference whether I destroyed or lay, uh, lied in the beacons, boys. I guess the, the quick and easy route is always going to be the dark side route. Boys, I'm willing to use it all the time. I don't want to mess around here, man. I'm always going to use the easy part route. All right, we're supposed to return to the lodge. So let's still go ahead and do that. I think I can just fast travel right there to the lodge. Yeah, let's do it. All right, there we go, boys. Back at the palace or the haunted lodge, whatever you want to call it. We're back here, boys. Let's do our thing. Let's do our due diligence here. Uh, speak with uh, the king and tell him that uh, everything is going according to plan or 
almost everything at least and uh it's going very well actually better than i anticipated i gotta say the dark uh the dark console's member savik right she's doing a pretty good job a better job than the pre or predecessor that's for sure insane perhaps xenophobic bigoted murderous all fair but he's not an idiot not the bigger idiot anyway Debating relative idiocy, are we? They can't decide who's dumber, Tetra or Akuru. Really now? Where's the king? Your conquering king returns. After this day, none will question my power. Uh. Excuse me? Uh, who said you are sure to win, almighty king? I am indeed. Our noble forces await us. To war! Between Tetris and Akuru, the capital security forces should be adequately distracted. While they attack the main gates, my droids will blow open the city walls near a sewer bypass. That will be your entry to the Orbital Defense Cannon's control center. Once you destroy the Republic fleet in orbit, our victory on Corellia will be one step closer. Perfect, boys. All the uh, perfect distraction for me to just destroy the Republic's fleet. Finally. It's about time. I've had enough of this backward planet. Backward, perhaps. But also tantric in its possibilities. The local plant and animal life could provide invaluable research data. So capturing a key Republic planet is worthwhile regardless. To that end, once the fleet is dealt with, you should regroup with Tetris and his troops. If you aid them in defeating Senator Nibet and her Republic allies, Tetris can rule unchallenged as the Empire's puppet. Onderon would be ours. So you think we should go for Onderon altogether, huh? Well, that's my that's not my mission. Yeah, exactly. That's not our mission. Our mission is to destroy the Republic's fleet, not to get a puppet. I mean, uh, getting a puppet doesn't hurt, but it's not our mission. We're here for the Republic fleet. That's it. Taking over the planet isn't our job. Do as you will, but I will not turn away from a prize that is all but in our grasp. I will deploy my droids to clear a path. Good luck, Commander. This will be a day long remembered. I'll think about it, boys. I, I, I'm not saying I'm not going to do it, but I, I'm just going to think about it strongly. I mean, I don't see any reason why I should stick my, my, stick my mind or head out there just for, for, just for this guy. Uh, obviously, it would mean that would get probably Underon as a puppet, but uh, to be honest, who cares about Underon anyways, right? I think... Um, my mission is to simply get rid of the fleet so i'm gonna focus on the fleet first and then we'll see if i'm actually gonna help out uh, these guys or not so enter the uh enter uh, is this for uh, from so uh, from the south uh yes yeah, sure so i do have to fast travel off, i believe right here i can probably use my thing right here to just get a bit closer sure all right let's do that all right boys there's the entry point right here there it is, Untamed Warrior. The battle's going on right now, boys. It's raging on right now. It looks like they've already won on their part of this place. So let's go right in. This place is burning alive. I love seeing that. Oh, shit. Look at this shit, man. The, the whole city's uh, crumbling apart. I got a supposed to get uh, from this side. There we go. Just like that, boys. Easy mission right there. I'm getting stuck in, uh, in some walls right here it, it keeps lagging too it really doesn't help at all that it keeps lagging where are these sewer animals coming from the hell is this bunch of uh, sewer, uh, sewer animals uh, coming by out of nowhere just killing me i thought everybody's gonna clear it off come on now you're gonna leave the, uh, these things uh, in the sewers just to uh, attack me Let me equip uh, my uh, shield i guess i'm gonna deal with them as quick as possible right here uh, there goes that animal right here. God damn it. It's lying like crazy. Holy shit I don't know if my catcher car is gonna be able to handle this boys. Hold on. Okay. I think we're good Oh, there's another oh, another one of these. We gotta kill another one of these boys. All right. 
Here we go then. Sewer thing. Uh, really quick, I'm gonna have to equip my AOE right here. And do the uppercut, why not? Uh, I don't have really any other specials going on. I don't want to use my Rolex for no reason. Let's just uh, chill it out, wait it out, kill that guy. Can I switch, switch my to another companion? I can. I don't need to have Jakaro uh, with me. So I'm going to just equip um, Shavezla with me. There we go. It's going to be just better overall to have Shavezla with me, boys. She's doing a better job overall. I can. I think I can annoy these guards. I'm pretty sure. Let's just get past them, boys. I don't want to. I don't want to have to fight them or anything. Yeah, it's, it, it would be a waste of time for me to fight them and everything. It doesn't seem like I can go in this part. Where do I go now, then? If I can't go here, the hell? Okay, do I have to kill these guys? Because I, I actually don't know right now. Should, I actually do not generally know if I have to uh, kill them off. If there's another pathway I gotta take or anything, boys. I. Legit don't know right now. You kill them off. Yo, there's a lot of them right now. They're really dangerous too. Uh, I was losing health big time. Okay, am I going the right way? Okay, so I was supposed to turn around, I guess. I was supposed to kill them. Okay, so we got that. Now it's giving me another pathway. So I imagine I can explode that place. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, like some sort of mine and stuff. It's going to destroy this. Okay, uh, do that. And destroy that place. Come on, come on. Uh, attack. Ah, there it is. So that it created a path for me now. Good. Good to know, I guess. So let's go in, boys. More guards. Let's just destroy them, I guess. It's, how? Uh, why are they in the sewers in the first place? Were they? Were they really? Uh, did they really know that there was going to be somebody in the sewers, like, ready for me at any times? Yeah, be shitting me, man. But how did they know that? Something's not right here. They shouldn't be uh, even be here in the first place. They shouldn't even notice me okay no you don't all right kill him off go 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 man i'm gonna equip my uh rocket boost right here to go a little bit faster there we go just like that more enemies attacking me fine by me let's just kill them off boys just like that uh, as much as possible i'm gonna get my aoe this guy's dead just equip uh kill that guard really quick do the uppercut and he should be done with all right good any more soldiers? I gotta kill all of you? Fine by me, man. Let's go. Go. Uh, come towards me if you want. I'm gonna kill all of you. There we go. I got my AOE right here like always. Let me just do... There, there we go. Just staff. There's a lot of stuff going on in my face right now. There's a lot of enemies. Not good, boys. Just do our... Uh, let's kill them off. Kill them off. A lot of pe uh, people right here we gotta kill. Uh, there's one more right here in this guy is about to uh, die in a second there we go just get him all right he's dead what now we got to take an elevator of some sort all right we're here looks like we're gonna have to fight more goons like always he just pushed me you are not allowed to push me like that my god it's not allowed at all you can't just do that so we're officially in the palace itself it looks like let's kill him off boys yo go yo come on kill him off you're taking too much, man. We're not uh, doing enough damage, I feel like. We need to upgrade our mod or something. But uh, I, I don't know, boys. I really feel like uh, our guns are is not really that strong enough at this point. The problem is they're not giving me guns. Oh, Master Deirter. I don't know who that guy is. But it seems like a, a mini boss fight and stuff. So let's just kill him off. Got some Jedis. We, uh, a Jedi Master and a Spider one that we got to kill. So... Deal with him, boys. There we go. Just do some uh, force lightning on him. Get him done. And there we go. There goes the Padawan, boys. Force choking him to death. That's going to help us out. Boom. There we go. And do the, uh, I guess, the AOE on him. Okay, that should work out. Yeah, we're fine. We got him big time. He's already dead, boys. Another uppercut right here. And he's dealt with. There goes the Jedi's. Defensive cannons activated. I'm targeting the Republic ships now. Have 
exceeded even my most aggressive calculations. Meanwhile, the Republic's chances at victory on Corellia have decreased at least 43%. Unfortunately, and perhaps unsurprisingly, the King's assault has not been as successful. I believe Petrus and Akoru have breached the palace, but the last of my droids have been destroyed. I have no visibility. Please, meet them in the throne room. Ensure the greatest possible victory for our empire. Set it out. She really wants me to help him out, doesn't she? I mean, I can do that, no problem. It's not like I have anything else to do anyway, so let me uh, actually... There we go, use my heroics right here. I still have them, so I might as well use them. Make this as quick as possible. Uh, and uh, there we go, burn you alive, my guy. There you go. So find the throne room. Where is the, the throne uh, uh, room at? Oh, it's not that far away, actually. Uh, I'm probably going to have to fight a boss fight, boys. Uh, these guys are attacking me, so I might as well just, there we go, use my aurorics right now while I, I still have the chance. Yeah, I think my aurorics are about to go down now, so I'm, I'm going to lose them for about two minutes. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a boss fight too, so that's really probably a bad timing, but oh well. Onderon will return to the old ways, the pure ways. Your blood will wash away centuries of desecration. You don't fight for Onderon. You fight for your own bigoted agenda. You fight. And you lose. His loss is my gain, Nebet. I've beaten you. I've won. Did you really believe you could steal the throne of the great King Petrus? Steal your throne? What in blazes are you talking about? Coat and flying now. Your treason is over. I've won. Kill them both. Help Petrif. Kill Petrif. You know what? You know what? Having enough. Why not do both, boys? Just for funsies. See what happens. Just the memes, I guess. There they go. They're both. They're all dead now. Just like you saw that shot, though. That was a beautiful shot. Just kill them all. All solutions are. Uh, Basically done and in uh, one feet go so now we can uh, basically get hey we need it. she wanted a puppet I think wanted a puppet we'll get a puppet we'll get anyone we want I guess because now we're not forced to have that king under the throne everybody's dead boys casualties of war as you want to call them let's see uh let's return to Darth Savic let's see what our next plan of action course of option is I don't know if she's gonna be happy about my move but uh, you look from my perspective, we can just take out, now that we've taken out that king, we can uh, choose our own king. It's easy, even, even more easier for us. I've confirmed it with my own sensors. Total destruction of all Republic ships in orbit. And without a single Imperial casualty. You have served your empire well indeed, Savik. Empress Asina will reward your ingenuity and loyalty. Will this her phrase? Uh, Savrik is a useful, worthless fool? Nah, she did her part. I think she did a pretty good job. Savik has done a great job. Her plan worked perfectly. Without you, this would not have been possible. I am fortunate to have worked alongside you. If only Petrus had survived. Onderon's resources could have been of great benefit to us. Resources are not our most urgent concern, Savik. You will depart for Corellia at once. Yes, Lord Malgus. Another fleet of Republic reinforcements is docking at Medshar, as Darth Valron predicted. That will be your next target. Ensure another victory, and the Republic will have no hope of stopping us. So the next stop is Mech Shaw, I guess. Set course for Mech Shaw. Ah, we know it well. A mined out asteroid converted into a fueling station. <laughs> we would love to join you. If you think your alliance has room, of course. Please. <laughs> well, I don't know. Do I really want him aboard? I mean, the droid's kind of annoying. The, the Wookiee's fine, I guess. Welcome aboard, I guess. It's not like 
Yeah, welcome aboard, I guess. It's not like I wanna... I have anything against them. I have a shuttle prepped and ready, shall we? Alright, well, our job on Underrun is done, boys. Let me see really quick. They gave me another one of these again. A lot of stuff I'm gonna have to sell. There's another, uh, I leveled up against another Renown Cache that I just got from that. Enhancement 260. I'm gonna claim that. That could be really good. I'm gonna disintegrate that. Uh, let me see if actually I'm probably gonna, definitely gonna need that. Uh, let me go for this. I already have that one, so I'm good on that side. 274. There we go. There's a better one right here, boys. Just like that. That's perfect. Okay, so accept. Jakaro's classic look. Uh, do we... Does he already not have that? Uh, what's going on here? Classic look? Alright. Let's just give him that, I guess. So, we've got him as a brand new companion. I guess it was... If we were refusing, we weren't going to have him as a companion. Uh, but uh, we did accept. But I, I'm going to only use Shavis. I don't care about him. I'm not... Like, I don't, I don't have anything against him. So, sure, he can be a companion me in case I want to. But... Meet, uh, meet Darth Shar on Meksha. So the, our next stop is a brand new planet. Another a brand new planet, boys. Let's travel there. Do the same thing. See what that uh, Dark Lord of the Sith wants us to do with this whole thing. All right, well, I gotta tell you, boys. This is one of these places I might enjoy uh, quite a lot. The feel of it, at least. Uh, from the loading screen. Look at this. This place looks like... Um, it looks like the Guardians of Galaxy place, right? The... Um, I don't know what he, uh, they call them. The Celestial and stuff, the, the Celestial's head and stuff. Uh, nowhere, I think it's nowhere, right? It looks a lot like that. It might be a type of place where I look a lot, uh, that I like a lot, boys. Might be uh, that type of area. I think I'm gonna enjoy this place. I, I like her costume a lot, a lot. Oh, well, uh, I knew I was gonna like it. It's an outlaw place, boys. Exactly for me. I've heard such delicious things about you. I serve Darth Valor, head of Imperial Logistics and Civil Order. He asked that I aid in supervising this operation due to my experience with the galaxy's criminal element. This intriguing specimen is a member of the Brothers, our key allies on the station. They've provided the Empire with quality slave labor for many years. It is our great honor to take those without value and give them value, to give labor to those without purpose. It's good to meet you. I hate slavery. Let's get to the mission. Let's just get to the mission. Why don't you tell me your plans for Meksha? The threat is your reputation. No formalities here. Just here for the mission. Although it would be cool for me to stay here permanently. I mean, this place looks like a badass place. It's exactly my type of area, boys. It's like a moon type of place. For outlaws? Hey, it's perfect for me. What the fuck? What just happened to me? Holy shit. Yo, I got pushed hard. Yo, she's getting rocked. Who the fuck is this? You're messing with the wrong dude. Who the fuck are you? Mysterious assailant. Who the hell is he? He came out of nowhere, boys. You saw I got force pushed to death right there. Oh, he's force choking me. Son of a bitch. All right, this is how you want to do it. This is how you want to do this. How about I force choke you then? There we go. How about I uh, I, I turn you to uh, the favor to you, my guy? What the hell is this? I'm going to use my special abilities on you. Who the hell is this, boys? This is uh, definitely dark side abilities and stuff. I don't think he's a Sith, though. Just uh, attacked us out of nowhere. Where she came out of nowhere? What's she doing here? Thanks for the assist. Don't let their fear like that. Go after them. Now go after them. Chase them down and find out. You're kidding, right? I'm not kidding. 
Lord Shaw still in one piece? Oh. Oh, yes. The force was strong with him. But he even stood a chance. For a Sith to defy the Empress and attack you during a top priority mission. You must have done something truly daring. Assassination? I doubt it. Yeah, I don't know what this was all about. No Sith grudges lately. Yeah, I don't have any Sith grudges. I, I don't think who... Uh, I don't really know who could possibly uh, want to attack me or anything. You know what? Who cares? He was no match for me and he knew it. Let's get back to the mission. If he tries again, I'll just kill him. I'm going to enjoy working with him so much. Yeah, he was just a sore loser, I guess. He just... He left the moment he uh, he knew he couldn't beat me. Greetings. Who cares about him? of the Dark Council. It is a pleasure to have you join us for this mission. I overheard something of a commotion. Is everything all right? Someone attempted to kill our dear guest. An assassination attempt. Dreadful. I do apologize. This is, you seem oddly convenient to just come up like that right after the assassin, uh, assassin left. You wouldn't be, you wouldn't be, uh, happen to be the assassin, wouldn't you, mister? Because if that's the case, you're going to answer for your crimes big time. The security here is pathetic. I think there's more to it. Nah, nothing to worry about. It was nothing I couldn't handle. Of course. They should have known better than to try. Now then, Charles. Let's go over what we discussed. A Republic fleet key to the defense of Corellia has taken position nearby and intends to purchase fuel from Mekshar in order to continue their journey. It is our task to ensure that this fleet never reaches its destination. So we stop them from refueling. Unfortunately, that wouldn't fulfill our Empress's command. If the fleet cannot acquire fuel, They'll simply consolidate what fuel they have into their most powerful warships and send them on. We do not have sufficient vessels to prevent this. And we must make every effort to stop the entire fleet. Then we lure them in and attack while they transfer the fuel. Just so, I think. Major Anu, explain your discovery. It just so happens that a perfect weapon is built into this rock. All we have to do is take control of it. See, this place used to belong to the Hut, until their slaves revolted and kicked them out. Now Mekshar's neutral, run by the five biggest crews on the station. Hutbreaker, she led the revolt. Well, she wanted to be sure nobody could show up and steal what she and the other slaves just won. So they put in a failsafe. It fires a pulse that neutralizes all the fuel in Mekshar's tanks, plus whatever's in the fuel lines, and any ships attached. We could even juice the pulse up a bit. Make it strong enough to ignite the fuel everywhere but the tanks. Fry every ship in the fleet. This is overly complicated. Why go so far? Well, now I'm just going to say it's impressive. Perfect. How do we get started? The decision of whether to sell fuel to the Republic fleet hasn't been made yet. It depends on a majority vote by the top five crews. It falls to you to persuade them to vote in favor of selling the fuel. To help the Republic walk into our trap. Fortunately, you have the perfect opportunity to get started. Brother? Hutbreaker hosts a celebration, an auction of pointless material wealth gained without effort. The five strongest crews are invited. You join our dear friends at Hutbreaker's auction. Ensure that the crews vote in favor of selling the fuel. And help the Republic get its head into the noose. Ah, uh, this is simple enough, I guess. Why not? Consider it done, Lord Shaw. If any other developments occur in the meantime, we will inform you at once. And watch your back. At least one of these crews is already in the Republic's corner, or the fleet wouldn't have come here in the first place. Best of luck. All right, we'll we'll be careful. You're always good to meet you again, Major Henry. I see we see each other quite often. All of a sudden. Uh, very f uh, it's very fun meet with uh, Isle of Vis. oh she's here Hilo Vis is here as well boys the smuggler okay yeah it, it doesn't surprise me at all uh, own Rainar King's aid so uh, your presence is requested so what the hell is this in light of your recent service to King to the King Petrif 
And despite the fact that your heroic efforts were not sufficient to save His Majesty's uh, cherished cousins, you are formally invited to the funeral proceedings for Anusak and Arnasur. May their names have echo in the halls of spirit. I assume you are not acquainted with the funerary traditions of Andurian nobility, so be advised to expect rites spanning the course of several days. You will be required to dress in the morning garb and present the customary gifts and burnt offerings. I will have a, com a collection of elegies which you must memorize sent immediately. Okay, so they're inviting me to the funeral. Do, do I really want to go there? I don't know. Especially since I'm the one who killed them all. But uh, we'll see, I guess, boys. Uh, I think... Uh, now let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. I was about to say maybe I want to end this. But let's keep going for now, boys. I'm actually going to sell my stuff, though, uh, right now. I might as well. There we go. I wish I could have Major Henry as my actual uh, companion. I would have her as my companion all the time. She's just... A badass all around, boys. She's probably already one of my favorites. Uh, where do we go from there? I, I want to take a taxi. So, okay, there's the taxi right here. So, want to take him out? Take me out to uh, this place right here, right? Oh, we're supposed to go there? Uh, there we go, boys. We're here. Go ahead and use my speeder if I can. I can't use my speeder. Uh, all right, that's fine, I guess. Let's just enter this palace right here. Waiting for me inside. All right, good. So we're going to meet with uh, Ilovitz. She's going to um, tell me all about this auction thing that's going on, boys. This should be very interesting. should be really fun. Meet with all of my uh, secret allies and stuff. Talk with them. Maybe I could get part of, be a part of the auction. I've got plenty of money, so you, know, you never know. Well, look who it is. Here, boss. Got himself as well. We've cut a few deals with these people over the years. With our help, you'll know just how to play them. They'll vote however you want. I don't want to play them. I, any help is appreciated. You should deal with this. You know what? You're better than me at this, actually. Yeah, you should be the one to deal with this. You already know these people. Why don't you handle the negotiations? All of the deals we cut in a small time could go to this. Convincing them to fuel up a public warship will take the price. Dealing with someone big and important like you feeds people's egos, makes them easier to win over. You're definitely the one for this job. If you're ready, let's head inside. I think they're just underestimating themselves, boys. I feel like they could definitely do the job if they wanted to. Liberator and unofficial queen of Nekshad. Her crew runs the main dock. She won't need much convincing. Selling that jewel will bring in a small fortune, but that only stands if you keep the peace. If you get too messy with any of these gangs, Hutbreaker will lock things down no matter how much she stands to make. Keeping Neksha safe is her top priority. All right. Darth Shar said that one of the crew leaders is a Republic sympathizer. What can you tell me? Junker Jot, retired Republic Navy. His people handle maintenance for all of Mechsha. They're the reason we've got air to breathe and a nice view that doesn't kill us. Jot doesn't really have a crew, just droids and other engineers like him. But without them, this place literally doesn't work. So they get a seat at the table. Needless to say, the Republic will get his boat to refuel, so no need to get involved there. Better to focus on the other crew leaders. Why bother with the others? Hutbreaker and Jot will vote in the Republic's favor. We tell the brothers to do the same, and we have a majority. The brothers' relationship with the Empire is no secret. If they suddenly vote to sell fuel to the Republic, it will seem way too suspicious. Yeah, it's more of a hassle, but you'll need a vote from one of the other crew leaders to keep the Republic from looking too closely. First is Veet the Snake. He runs a rhodium smuggling ring, the Harido Wall, one of the biggest operations in the galaxy. Veek's a businessman. He can be anybody's friend if there's an upshot for him. Just have to figure out what he needs and make sure he gets it. The other crew leader is Indigo, Mandalorian. Well, ex-Mandalorian. Same with his crew. They're called something like Dar... Darma... Darm... Darmanda. They're mercs and gunrunners. Indigo has some kind of rivalry with Veek, so it's a good thing you only need one of them to vote your way. Oh, well, I might go with them, boys, because they look like Mandor Mandalorian types. Uh, and since I know Shea Vizsla pretty well, she's Mandalore, uh, of course, so she should be their leader. So I think we're going to be fine if we take these guys. 
Much appreciated. Uh, crooks decide the galaxy's fate. The mighty Sith Empire, resting its future on shady deals with shadier people. Wars are never won on the front line. Looks like Hutbreaker's about to give her big welcome speech. Let's find a good spot. Let's go find a good spot and hear about it. So I, I'm I'm supposed to basically convince all of them to to vote, but look. It's gonna be pretty easy. It's gonna it's gonna be pretty easy to convince them to vote, boys. I'm one of them after all, right? So I am a former. I'm the best bounty hunter in there. So this is my home after all. It was all right. Not a, not enough mustache in my mind, but it was all right. It was a naive uh, nonsense. You're good at swaying people. Ah, don't cut us out yet. It was a naive. Uh, don't cut us out. I think the empire might not be so easy to overcome. Time will tell. In the meantime, we need to pay our hospitality. Have a drink on you and keep the peace. You can keep the peace. Have your Sith friend's word on it. Yeah, well, my Sith friends is not exactly my word. word or keeping the peace. But you know still love you. Commander, meet Tao again. Jedi Knight. <laughs> Let's just stare her down, boys. I'm just gonna stare her down completely, man. You think I've I, I made a profession of myself to actually kill these Jedi's? You picked the wrong side, and you're going to regret it. Loyalist, the Empire will win. I prefer peace. I'll enjoy killing you. You know what? I'll just straight it to straight up to her. I'm gonna remind you of this moment when you're busy dying at my feet. I'm not. You should be. See you around. You should be afraid, my girl. All right. Well, before we start talking to everybody, making friends and everything, I already know who I want to make friends with. Obviously, I'm gonna go for uh, Indigo because he's the whole uh, Mandalorian crew. Shevesla might know him pretty well, so we might have a good connection on that part. Uh, leave you guys for right now. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.